In Attack of the Clones, Obi-Wan, Anakin, and Padme are set up to be executed by three creatures in the Geonosian arena. So what was that all about, and what were those creatures? We'll be covering that today. Geonosian culture was violent by nature. The arena was created in the first place as a place of celebration. It was actually called the Petronaki Arena, the Arena of Justice, or simply referred to as the Geonosis Execution Arena. The most we learn about it is from the novel Catalyst, in which Orson Krennic returns Poggle the Lesser to his homeworld so that he can lead the Geonosians in the construction of the Death Star. Their arrival coincided with something called the Eve of Metgen. Metgen was a celebration of the virtues of industry and hard work. The holiday was honored by three days of gladiatorial combat and games. Similar to the gladiators of ancient Rome, the Geonosian drones were often made to fight wild animals. In the case of Episode 2, those animals were a reek, a nexu, and an aklay. Reeks were large rhinoceros-type creatures from the planet Eulesia. The horns on their cheeks and head were used for showing dominance among other wild reeks. They were normally herbivores, but if they were starved, they would become ravenous and carnivorous. Their natural color was brown, gray, or yellow, but a ravenous reek skin would turn deep red. Those that were bred on Geonosis for the games were intentionally fed meat to increase their aggression. Nexus were cat-like creatures from the planets Cholgana or Xanox. They had four red eyes that gave them infrared vision, claws, and quills on their backs. They were around four and a half meters long and just under one meter tall. While they were, of course, dangerous, they had weak skeletal structure. A kick from Padme stunned one, and it was easily killed by the Reek shortly after. Aklays were reptilian crustacean creatures from the planet Vindaxa. They had razor-sharp fangs and claw-like legs that were strong enough to smash a stone pillar. In their natural environment, they lived underwater, but would come out to hunt on land. They had small stomachs and a high metabolism, which gave them extra amounts of energy, but also meant they could starve quickly. Their need to hunt and eat often made them aggressive and ideal for use in the arena. That's it for today. If you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and consider checking out my Patreon page. As always, thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.